Garden Makeover, Colorful Drought Tolerant California Coastal Yard. Homeowners Jill and Jennifer Allen live in the small, beautiful coastal town of Carpinteria, which is just south of Santa Barbara, a crown jewel and coveted vacation destination in Southern California. After living in Tokyo and Chicago, the Allens rented the beach area home for a couple of years before convincing the owners to let them buy it. The house was a definite fixer, as was the landscaping, explains Jill. That's when they enlisted the services of Billy Goodnick, a Santa Barbara area award-winning landscape architect, design coach, author, and speaker. Goodnick is a longtime proponent of water-wise landscaping, which the city of Santa Barbara has been practicing in varying stages for years, ahead of the movement compared to other drought-stricken regions. The flagstone path is flanked on either side by the Dianella, then deep red Japanese blood grass Imperata cylindrica rubra. Meandering along the path, to the far left is the Japanese blood grass, blue sedge, and more Dianella. The homeowners requested a lawn-like area for their two small dogs, and Goodnick's solution was the blue sedge, which he says uses about half the water as regular lawn grasses but has a low growing habit and does not have to be mowed. Continuing down the path in the front yard, low-growing blue sedge is accented by clumping, strappy dianella, Mexican heather, cufia hisipifolia, and pink grevillea added to the mix at the right. Beyond, is the fountain-like muli grass. A view from the ground, looking streetward at the ornamental grasses and privacy hedges. Basically, this is the view the Allen's small dogs have. The grasses on the right, against the hedge, are New Zealand flax. The Allen's front lawn has become a tame meadow of ornamental grasses, featuring blue sedge, New Zealand flaxes, Japanese blood grass, and muli grass. Beautiful, fountain-like pink muli grass with its wispy pink flowers blooms is an eye-catching addition. At the end of that path, the grass sort of explodes, it's intended as a focal point, says Goodnick. With a lawn of blue sedge, various drought-tolerant ornamental grasses surround it, showing the differences in height, form, and texture. The flagstones become more broken up and casual as the path winds along the side toward the backyard, which is in the works. A lush carpet of low-growing blue sedge contrasts with a purple fountain grass. Goodnick's plan view shows the existing house, street, driveway, and his ideas for softscape and hardscape layout and elements in the Allen's front yard. Hardscape? If it isn't green, it's hardscape, Goodnick explains. Grevilleas are exotic flowers that look like tropical proteas, in fact, they are members of the protea family. These Australian natives are drought-tolerant and blooms make gorgeous cut flowers, especially in arrangements. A strappy, yellow variegated New Zealand flax grows behind a detailed cufia. Natives to Australia, grevilleas thrive in the moderate climate and even clay soil of Southern California. This shrub's flowers range from creamy white to yellow to pink to dark rose and are delicate in cone or corn cob shaped. An older, existing camellia shrub pruned into a tree form was one of the plants that the Allens wanted to keep. A hardy shrub, Camellia japonica produces beautiful flowers during the winter months in Southern California and other regions. The various grasses and shrubs in the Allens' yard aren't fussy, but still need to be pruned and maintained at least a few times a year, mostly in the fall and spring. This helps everything retain its separate shape instead of growing into a huge, dry, unwieldy jungle. To create visual contrast and interest, plants like a strappy ornamental grass was placed near a hedge of candy corn plant. Another view as you enter the property shows the path winding around the side of the house. Besides being a practical touch, this visually elongates the yard with the suggestion of something around the corner. 
Goodnick describes the process between clients and himself. The preliminary drawing shows that there's going to be a screening plant here, a colorful one over there, something tall here, or a tree over there. I send my client the list of possible plants ones I think are good matches. Another key design element was a sense of separation between the driveway and where the garden starts, which would typically be like a little boxwood hedge or picket fence, says Goodnick. Instead, we went softer, using that variegated grassy-looking stuff Dianella, next to the driveway. A once bare front yard had no curb appeal or interest for the homeowners or guests when it was viewed from either the driveway or indoors. Located on a quiet street without curbs or sidewalks, there was also little privacy or separation from the road. The Allens made improvements to the home's exterior before deciding to landscape by painting the house and trim, adding attractive wood fences, and an interlocking paver driveway. A rich wood fence and gate with planks placed horizontally offers a modern alternative to the traditional vertical and is a trend that is growing in popularity. It's a quick and easy way to update and upgrade a home's exterior. The entrance to the driveway offers a view of the property's privacy, which was created with living walls instead of iron gates for a more natural look. On the right, the darker Eugenia hedges, on the left are lighter Podocarpus. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.